Okay, everyone, welcome back again. And this time we have a very interesting topic to discuss, and that is um, how to change the color of your iPad. If you are looking to customize the appearance of your iPads and the device or just the adjustment of the settings for accessibility reasons, I'm going to guide you through the steps and explain how it works and what you should know about that. First, let's address the hardware. So if you're thinking about changing the actual physical color of your iPad, well, unfortunately, that's not something you can do easily. Like the backside of your iPad has a consistent color. So it's determined by the model you purchase. I mean, you could theoretically paint it, but it's not something I would do, of course. But a more practical solution is to use some kind of skin or a sticker, like those sold by the brand, for example. It's not a sponsor of the video or anything, but like the, these stickers come in like different designs and everything, so they can freshen up your iPad color if you want to. Now let's focus on what I assume most of you are interested in, and that is changing the color settings of your iPad's display. And this is quite possible and involves using the accessibility features built into the iPad. These features can tint your display in various colors, which can be helpful for different needs or preferences. So to get started with this, open the settings app on your iPad and from there navigate to the accessibility section. Within accessibility, you'll want to go to the display and a text size. This section contains several options that can alter the appearance of your screen. So one of the first options you'll see is Smart Invert and Inverting Colors. So there is the Classic Invert too. These settings can change the display to show a different color scheme, which might be useful if you prefer it but it may not be that good if you find it kind of annoying so dis disable it or keep it turned on to get your ipad a fresh new look further down in the display and a text size section you'll find the color filters and this feature allows you to apply different filters on your screen like an overlay so yeah this is going to be like a you can choose the grayscale or red or green or other options and there's also the tint, as I said, which lets you apply a color overlay to your entire display. So no matter what you do or which app you use, it's always going to stay like this. And you can customize the intensi intensity as well. So that's the stuff that you can move with. And to disable the color changes entirely, you can turn off the color filters altogether. And this will revert your display back to its default settings. However, if you prefer to customize the display, you can enable the filters and experiment with different options. So that's going to be about it. Hope you found this video useful. If you did, hit the thumbs up, subscribe below, and I'll catch you in the future.